Hi guys, Lynn Abrams from Straight Razor Place and Straight Razor Designs. Um, today we're going to do a one stone honing um, and basically what we do is we vary the slurries going from a heavy slurry uh, all the way down to water actually uh, on our natural stones. So today we're going to do that with a nice select codicle and this codicle is about two and a half inches wide, a little bit longer than eight inches long. It really is, uh, is great. Three inches would be absolutely perfect. Uh, again, Again, because most of the razors in length are three inches, but with this one it will work uh, just fine. So uh, I also have a codical rubbing stone. I can use a generic Nagura stone. You can use some of the other Japanese stones to create your slurry. Some people actually like to use DMTs, uh, but I have a, a more of a fondness and I get to me more consistent results by using um, the natural stones as I create my slurries. So. We're going to hone this up. Um, for the one stone honing, for the most part, unless I've got uh, a new razor, and this razor is actually that I'm going to use today fairly close to new. This is one of the new Dovo Diamants. It's got the uh, blue coating across it, and so we should be in pretty good shape with this one without doing a separate bevel setting. For most razors, before I would do a one stone honing method, uh, I would make sure that my bevel set on a 1,000 stone separately from this one. But uh, you've seen me do other videos where I vary the stones, uh, and I'll take a natural progression of uh, 4,000, 8,000, 12, or 16,000, and then uh, either use uh, uh, chromium oxide or diamond spray to finish. With this, we can basically go through the whole honing process just using the one natural stone, and in this case, it's going to be um, the codicle. Um, I've, I've done this on all my Japanese naturals, I've done it on my Escher, and the process itself actually works quite well. So let's get started. So with the codicle, uh, I always you know, spray it down first to get it going. You really don't need anything other than that. And I like to start off with a fair amount of water, and I'm going to use my codicle rubbing stone, and so uh, I'm going to make as thick a slurry with this as I possibly can. I like the slurry to be almost muddy to where you You'll, you'll be able to see more than just a milky finish on this. And so uh, that'll take just a few seconds here, but uh, uh, this is a great starting point. And so while we're building up this slurry, um, typically the way I start with this is a lot like the regular circle process, but I start off with 40 um, heavy circles uh, followed by 10 to 15 X strokes and uh, then what I do that's all on the heavy slurry and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll start working my slurry down once I get to a medium slurry then I'm going to do 40 heavy circles and then 40 light circles again followed by just four or five six uh, tops uh, on the X strokes and then I'm going to take it down to a really light slurry and at that point I'm going to do seven or eight X strokes and when I go to water at that point then I'm going to come on down uh, and and just finish off with 10 X strokes and uh, uh, then we'll call it a day we'll be ready to test that razor you can actually after this start Stone, still do four or five strokes on the chromium oxide uh, if you'd like, but uh, for the most part you should be good to go here. So as you can tell, I'm getting a, a pretty heavy slurry here. Uh, it's, it, it's not quite a mud consistency, but almost. It's fairly heavy. And this will be the initial slurry that I'm going to sit here and work with to start the heavy circles. And I could make that a little thicker and a little more mud-like, but for purposes of demonstration, this should work fine. So we're going to do our 40 circles heavy. And I can really feel the resistance of having a lot of slurry on there. As you can tell, I've got the razor canted a little bit so that the heel itself uh, is actually off and I'm not sharpening into the shoulder. So now we're going to come back the other way. All right, there's our 40 circles with pressure both directions. And now we're going to do 10 to 15 X strokes. And you can see very easy with the slurry, the water displacement.
And you can also tell by how dark it's getting that it's definitely taken out metal. Okay, and that's pretty much it on what I would consider heavy slurry. And as I said, the, the slurry here could certainly be a little bit more uh, muddy than what we have now. And again, if I was going to test here, I'm going to see if I'm going to shave off any hair. And obviously, you could tell immediately uh, we've got the hair being shaved off, a uh, big hunk of it, as a matter of fact. So we're good to go on to the next level. So for the second level, I'm going to water my slurry down. I've knocked some of it off from doing the X strokes here, so I'm going to come back and use what, the, what I had still from the heavier stuff and really try to keep this a little bit thinner and go to what I would consider a more medium type slurry. So now, with the more medium type slurry, I'm going to start off with 40 circles with pressure both ways, and I'm going to follow it up with 40 circles with no pressure both ways, uh, and then five or six very, you know, X strokes with no pressure again, and that's the middle process of this method. So here we go. All right, there's a the heavy pressure. Now we're going to come back with the, the light to no pressure, weight of the blade, basically. And I almost feel like a resistance at this stage with, with no pressure as I'm pushing the blade up and doing these circles, which really tells me that the, the sharpness is getting keen. All right, follow it up, five or six no pressure X strokes. Basically, I'm just balancing this blade as I push it and pull it across the stone. Now, obviously, it would still be cutting hair on my arm, so there's no need to repeat that test, I don't believe, at this point. But the uh, edge is taking a nice polish at this point, and we're ready to move on. So now I'm just going to thin this slurry out a little bit. Knock some of the heavier stuff off. And I want a fairly light slurry here uh, to finish. And at this point, um, you know, pretty much I'm just going to stick with my 6 to 8 strokes, 8 to 10 maybe if it's carbon, no pressure. And as you can tell, it's a light slurry. Uh, you can almost see through it. It's a lot more milky. Might have done one extra stroke. <laughs> That's the good thing about experimentation with these things. You know, a lot of times when we stick to the exact number of strokes, they really are a reference point. But if you're off uh, occasionally, you know, by a stroke or two, it's not the worst thing in the world that can happen. Uh, some people do the same method and do it in, in various ways. Um, they use a lot more strokes than I do. So here, basically, uh, at this stage, after coming off the, the very thin slurry, I'm looking for this razor to be picking up arm hairs midway again. And I can tell right here, uh, they're popping off all over the place from the heel of the razor to the toe. And uh, so we're good to go to move on to the next level. So at this stage, basically I start fresh. I'm going to knock off all or as much of the, uh, the slurry that I had on it before. And now I'm just going to go to water. And so at this stage, 
typically I'll stay with 10 strokes. Um, you can do 10 to 12, I think, from a reference standpoint, and that should work for you. And uh, then we'll be ready to go um, and go ahead and strop it up and test shave with it. Again, no pressure, just very light X strokes. You can tell by the water displacement that the edge is just moving right across there. I can feel the resistance of the stone, which tells me that it's still cutting, and that's really what we're looking for. All right, we'll give it another test at this point to see if we're still picking up the arm hairs and they're just popping like crazy all up and down this razor <laughs> all over my stone so uh, that pretty much is it on the one stone method now from here if you'd like you know, obviously uh, as I did before um, we can do you know another four or five strokes uh, on the diamond you don't necessarily need to um, I would I would recommend that uh, for you guys who are just starting and practicing with this method that you go ahead and strop it off uh, the razor on your regular leather strop um, without putting it on the, the diamond spray for a few times and just see how that razor shaves and I think you'll be delightfully surprised at, uh, at, at your results particularly as you get better with your circles and your strokes and your pressure. So there we have it. One stone honing with a codicle. Happy honing. We'll see you next time.